it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for November 2024. So on November 3rd, we are going to see Mr. Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger, move out of cancer energy, thank goodness, and move into Leo energy. So we have a little bit to talk about. We have a little bit to unpack. First of all, if you haven't listened to the November Energy Overview, I'm going to recommend you do that. If you haven't downloaded your November Energy Guide specifically tailored for your zodiac sign, I'm going to recommend you do that as well. Of course, we dove into November. We had this new moon in Scorpio that we're still very much sitting in. We just had Mercury move out of Scorpio Energy, move into Sagittarius Energy here yesterday. And now here on November 3rd, Mars is on the move. This is going to conclude the back-to-back-to-back energy shifts that are kicking off at the beginning of the month. And then we're going to have a little bit of time to kind of settle into these energies before we move into the next series of domino effects where the energy shifts are concerned. Mars hasn't been quite as happy as he normally is in this cancer energy because of course Mars wants to take action he wants to make moves he wants to pursue his passions and his desires and in cancer energy of course we're overly attached to the past we were in defense mode we were willing to fight defend protect what it is that we've already built what it is that we've already created what truly means the most to us where values priorities people places and things are concerned now the problem with that is that we were in preservation mode trying to protect and preserve things that we've all grown things that are actually blocking us holding us back and so yeah we were overly defensive we were definitely listening to our intuition we were only taking action and making moves if our intuition told us to do so but most of those moves were on the defense again kind of protecting kind of preserving all of the things that technically we should be letting go of. Now, of course, coming into this Leo energy is a totally different vibe. A lot of that is because Mars is in a direct opposition to Mr. Pluto sitting over there at the 29th degree of Capricorn energy. So the final degree of this Cancer energy before we actually shift in this Leo energy, we are having this tension point. Now, Mars moves a lot faster than Pluto does. So, you know, a couple of days into this Leo energy, we're going to move out of this opposition with Pluto. And then we're really going to get a taste of what Mars and Leo is all about. So, of course, Leo energy is a fixed sign. We're looking to stabilize in fixed energy. We're looking to kind of find comfort and familiarity out of some of the changes, some of the dysfunction, some of the chaos and craziness that, of course, popped off when we were just trying to hold on to our shit, when we were trying to kind of defend ourselves, defend what it is that we had previously built, previously invested in. This is a fire energy, Leo being the heart and soul of the zodiac. Fire energy means that there's a new spark, new fire, new flame actually being ignited within us. That's definitely going to help us out. But if you were to listen to the overview for November, and if you have your energy guide in front of you, you would know that we're only gifted with a very short amount of time, a very small window of opportunity to make some bold, brave, and courageous moves under this influence because... Mars is going to be going retrograde in this Leo energy early December. Technically speaking, we are going to be revisiting what we're currently sitting in right now, the decisions, the choices, the actions, the moves. We're going to be revisiting all of this at the beginning of 2025. And so, you know, once Mars kind of goes retrograde here in December, we're going to retrace our steps through all of the degrees slip back into the cancer energy, go direct in that cancer energy, and then again, retrace our steps moving forward. And again, we're going to be facing similar situations and circumstances at the beginning of the year. This is why it's so important to use the resources that I've created for each of the zodiac signs to capture what is going on for you, where this particular energy is manifesting in your physical realm, because a lot of people tend to forget. And when we're bumping in to 2025, when we're starting fresh, when we're, you know, in that particular energy, 
energy, a new vibration, a new life lesson, many people are going to have a hard time reflecting back to this particular point in the calendar and figuring out what we were focused on, what we were taking action upon in the here and now. So it's very important to, again, capture what is going on for you. So Mars being in this Leo energy, first of all, we're super proud just for existing, just for getting through it, just for pushing through the blockages, the challenges that, of course, have been in our face for God knows how long. We have a new level of confidence because, again, we're tapping into the boldness, the bravery, the courage that we need to have that we've been lacking in order to do all the hard things. So, of course, the Leo energy is where our authentic soul self comes into our heart space and asks the physical meat suit, the egoic form to fully express our authentic self out into the world. Right now, we have some big ideas. We have new passions. We have new desires that we want to 100% go after. There are other planets. There are other cycles that are having us purge, release, close the door, end, tie the loose ends up before we can actually pursue this new path with these new goals, visions, and dreams. So with Mars in this Leo energy, we want to go after what it is that we want in a very direct manner. We are very confident that we can get whatever it is that we want slash need. We are really kind of in a mood where we're putting ourselves out there. The Leo energy, a little bit attention seeking, not in a bad way, although it could go in a bad way if you don't keep yourself in check, but we want to put ourselves out in the world. We want to be seen. We want to be heard. The introverted energy that we were sitting in, in cancer energy, totally cuts off and the extroverted mood and attitude comes out to play in this Leo energy. The issue is, and again, not necessarily an issue, but it could be if we take it too far, is that we're not so worried about the smaller details. We aren't really worried about the how, we just know that we wanna get there. So this is very much about understanding the destination, but kind of going with the flow in order to actually get there. So this new fire, new spark, new flame, definitely going to trigger and activate new passions, new desires within us. Our sexual interests come back online. Don't know if y'all have had a little bit of a downhill spiral where your sex drive is concerned, but Mars being about passion, being about desire and Leo energy, again, fire, spark, flame, definitely get reignited within us. Passion on all levels is very, very high. So this is going to wake up our soul, wake up our spirit it's a beautiful thing. And we're a little bit more willing to kind of put ourselves out there, take a few risks, although they should be calculated at this point, in order to actually progress ourselves on the path in the direction to get closer to what it is that we actually want, we actually desire. So we're going to see a little bit of drama, especially on the collective stage, we're going to see a little bit of drama in our own lives, because again, we're putting ourselves out there in a way that we've been hesitant to do. We're going to definitely appear a lot more let's call it confident, let's call it strong, let's call it um, comfortable in our abilities to actually go after what it is that we want and bring it into fruition. And we just have to kind of understand that we're, we're all going to want to take the lead and we all can't all take the lead. So there's going to be a little bit of friction there. The Leo energy being the heart and soul of the Zodiac being kind of ruled over by the sun, we all want to be the center of attention. And of course, that cannot happen. So there's going to be a little bit of competitiveness, maybe even a conflict in seeing where it is that we're all kind of biding for that center spotlight. We definitely have to keep ourselves in check. We have to act as the observer because, again, the Leo energy does have a stronger pull to the ego programming, to the ego self. We have to understand that the soul and the spirit is what fuels this physical meat suit when we're doing the healing work to align with our higher self. So it is going to be an interesting point to kind of keep our heart space in check, to keep ourselves in check, and to be asking ourselves at every moment that, you know, provides us an opportunity to do so, are we operating out of our egoic wants, needs, and desires, 
or are we operating out of the higher self want needs and desires? And the difference is, is that there's a calling it may not make sense. It may make you nervous. It may put you in a situation where you're uncomfortable, but you know, in your heart, you know, in your soul, you just got to do it. That is the higher self calling you to pursue a path, a passion, a desire for your growth, for your evolution. So again, just keep in mind that we are given a very short window of opportunity here to kind of get hard aligned, to take certain situations and really assess the actions that are available to us to make some progress in a new path in a new direction. When Mars goes retrograde, we're going to have to revisit, reflect, revise all of the things that we're currently doing in this present moment. So again, there are resources out there to help keep you in alignment, to keep you ahead of these energy shifts. And of course, again, I'm going to say it, it's better to roll than be dragged. <laughs>